Alright, what is going on everybody? It's American Nukes. I'm bringing you guys another episode to my all-wheel drive monster series and today what I have for you is a video on another one of my dream cars, the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG. I don't know what it is about this car, but this car just screams, come buy me now. Like, I just love this car so much. And I can tell you the only thing I do not like about this car probably and most likely has to be how the doors open. If I were to take this to the grocery store, which I don't know why I would be taking it there, uh, I could not park near anyone because the doors open out and up. They don't open like a normal car door. So if I were to like park too close to someone and then someone get on my left and my right, there is no way I'm getting into my car at all. So yeah, that's the only downfall to this vehicle. But other than that, this car is actually really good, and we're going to go ahead and pick a design kind of like this right here. I wish it didn't have the stripes on there. So, we might just go with the white with the black rims. Yeah, we're going to go with that. So, like I said, this is one of my favorite cars, one of my all-time cars. You know, I've actually liked this car. I love this car a lot. Uh, I don't know when I started liking it. I think it was back when I played... Four, no, 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 I was about to say Forza. This is my first Forza game. It was back when I played Gran Turismo 5, I remember, because I bought this and the MP4, uh, the MP412C. So, that is uh, pretty much, um, like, the reason why I like this car so much. And I actually like the MP412C a lot as well. And uh, I'm actually going to do a video on that maybe next, because... Uh, the MP412C, right, and Let me know what you need. I hope I'm saying that name right. I, 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 you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure I am, but uh, that car and this car is probably the only two supercars that I really, really like, like, to the fullest. Like, I'm not really a big fan of supercars, and these two cars, those two cars are probably the main two supercars that I like a lot. Now... We are in the auto sh well, not the auto show, but the garage. We're about to max tune this out, drop the all-wheel drive conversion, etc., etc. And we have the six-liter V12 engine conversion. Now, this can only mean one thing, and that one thing is that we're probably going to reach a thousand plus horsepower. So, we're going to drop that six-liter V12 in there, we're going to drop the all-wheel drive conversion in there, and Aspiration, please. Yes, it's twin turbo. <gasps> this is the dream car. Look at that 869 horsepower. This vehicle is definitely about to be pushing a thousand plus horsepower. I guarantee it. So, we might have to drop this Forza Aero front bumper on here just to keep the car to the ground because this thing I know will want to fly now. I don't plan on dropping a wing on here at all because it has the uh, automated spoiler and I actually love that spoiler so much, so, so much. So I'm not going to uh, do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put the race tire compound on here. Uh, tire sizes, we're going to go probably with um, 285s in the front uh, just because we get that added handling. And we're going to go with the widest tires we can, the 345s for the back, just to make this thing ridiculous and make it stick to the ground. Because, you know, we got to have that stickiness. I'm not even going to change the rims because that is unneeded. What's we, we don't need to do it. That really didn't even change the shift time at all. The shift time was still the same. So, yeah, the you know, race transmission helps this car a lot. So we're going to throw that bad boy in this thing, my bob. And we're going to throw this thing on here. A di differential. We're gonna throw that differential on there. Did I? Okay, I did get it. All right. Now, off to the transmission. We're gonna drop it 0.6 inches. We officially can no longer ride over speed bumps with this thing. We're gonna scrape. We can't do it. We have to drive around. So, with that being said, I'm not driving to any apartments. I'm not driving through Walmart. Not doing any of that with this thing. So yeah, um, I. My, well, 3,800 pounds, I don't think we're going to need a roll cage. I don't think we're going to need any added weight. Uh, this drops 600 pounds, 3,100 pounds. Now, this is where the added weight might actually come into play. Let's see if it changes, and it actually does. But barely. 
We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. All right, so now we're going to fully tune this thing up. We're going to see what the horsepower actually achieves because it looks like we're actually going to hit 1,000 without the twin turbo upgrade. If we can, in fact, do the twin turbo upgrade anyway, and we can't from what it looks like. So, if we could, that would be insane, my dudes. But we're just going to go ahead and fully tune this engine up, and we're at 1,000 plus horsepower, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not really gonna be saying that a lot because I feel like I shouldn't. But um, we're gonna be pushing 1,100 horsepower. I like this. I'm probably gonna cruise around in this car after this video just, just, just because. 1,182 horsepower. Are you serious? I already put the oh, oh god. 1,100 horse. A 1,200 horsepower. SLS like is this even sanitary like is this street legal like uh, okay I just turned another song on if you heard my mouse click that is why but um all white all white look at that look look oh my god look, look I don't even have to touch the gears it's already <sighs> Why did I take so long to buy this car? We're going to go ahead and just change the differential on this thing. And we're going to go ahead and take it for a spin. I have to get a top speed run with this. I have to. I just have to. I got to. For one of my dream cars, I, I have to get a top speed run. Like, it's just in me. I have to. Now, we we actually can drop the ride height. This thing is 3.7 inches from the ground and 4.1 inches from the ground in the rear. That is ridiculously low to the ground. Now, we definitely cannot go over speed bumps with this thing, and that's for sure. But, um, look at this. Tell me you wouldn't buy this car. Like, this car, oh, man. Look at that first gear. It's already at 60 miles an hour. Now, look at 1100 horsepower is insane for an all-wheel drive car. Look at, oh my god, this car does, it just, it just goes, like, oh my, oh, okay, I wasn't paying attention, I shouldn't have did that, I just damaged my baby, I actually have damage off, so it doesn't even matter, but, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, take this on the highway, I have to get a top speed run, I, I just have to, fourth gear pull, I'm not even gonna shift down, I'm just gonna straight gas it, and it just eats fourth gear, like, look at that, just, just completely eight fourth gear. We're already at 200 miles an hour in fifth gear. That is ridiculous. And I, oh, okay. I thought we had a, se a seventh gear, so I shifted up again, and we actually don't. So fifth gear looks like uh, sixth gear looks like to be the highest gear. Top speed looks like to be around 250. We actually got off the highway. I shouldn't have did that because now we're gonna slam into someone, and we're not. How the fuck did we just? Okay, never mind. Spoke too soon. 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 All right, now we're gonna go ahead and just gas this up. Now, top speed looks like to be around 250 to 255, around that range. And yeah, um, this car is exactly how I dreamed it would be. I don't know why it took me so long to buy this in game, considering that it's one of my dream cars. But uh, look, look at that wing. Oh, this car is just oh so sexy and oh so many ways. Like, who wouldn't buy this car? Like you, like t if you wouldn't buy this car, give me twenty five thousand reasons in the comment section right now why you wouldn't buy this car. Cause I I have to know. Like, look at that dude. He has one. I let you know this car is actually worth every freaking penny. Like, I, I don't. I, words cannot explain how ridiculous this car is to me. Like, look at that spoiler. And it just drops down. Oh my god. Like, ah. Uh, ah, uh, look at the, the cockpit. is ridiculous. I forgot to shift. We just blew the engine. I'm sorry. But look at this. Ah, uh, we just blew the engine again. Like, why wouldn't you buy this? Like, oh my. And, and I don't know how we didn't. Okay. Alright, I knew we were going to hit something. But like just just look at this. Like it just it's 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 crazy. Like we, we're just zipping through and, and okay, alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna end it there before I end up destroying this car. Now that is the video about the 
Mercedes Benz SLS, one of my other dream cars, one of the other cars that I really, really want in life, and I'm going to make it my goal to own one of these. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys leave a like. I am a growing YouTuber, and it supports me and helps me out a ton and motivates me to make more videos. Once I see I gain a subscriber, it makes me want to go make 10,000 more videos. I promise you that. I, it motivates me so much. And that's pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy, like I said, leave a like. You know, um, Follow my Twitter. Follow my stream. Um, Twitch, links always in the description, add me on Xbox Live, PSN, Steam, Origin, all of that good stuff is in the description. And um, yeah, I'm Nukes, and I'm out. See you guys in the next episode, my dudes. We're going to go ahead and 360 this. That worked out. That worked out. We, did, we hit no walls, guys. We hit no walls. That worked out.